This weekend in the Cup Series, we have a really fun event as the Cup Series goes to Worldwide Technology Raceway, aka Gateway. The fans really turn out for that event. I think there's even a music festival going on there this weekend. Let's preview Worldwide Technology Raceway. Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. Who do you think is going to win the race this weekend? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. All right, so this weekend, it's Worldwide Technology Raceway. I think for the rest of the video, I'm going to call it Gateway. But from what I heard, they don't like it when you call it when you call it Gateway, because that's not what it's called anymore, but that's what everybody still calls it anyway. Gateway is a very different racetrack. I enjoy it. It brings on a different sort of product that you get with most racetracks. I think one of the best things I like about Gateway is that it has two completely different corners. Turns one and two is very tight, while turns three and four is a lot wider and a longer corner. Turns one and two is like being on a high banked short track, and then going to three and four, it's like a flat long corner kind of like Pocono this track has a lot of character has a lot of history and it has die hard fans I was really happy a couple of years ago when they announced that it was getting a cup series date and I really hope it always stays on the schedule just because of how much the fans just enjoy that race and really put on for that race anytime I see any pictures at the racetrack no matter what series or whatever the fans turn out and they seem like they're having an amazing time at Gateway more than other places, I would say, on the schedule. We've had two Cup Series events there so far. The first one won by Joey Logano, and the second one won by my boy, Kyle Busch. An interesting stat that I did find out, because I know that Kyle Busch finished second in the first event and finished first in the second event, but apparently Logano finished third in the second event. So both of those drivers have finished top three in both Gateway events. We haven't even gotten to the favorites yet, but you can already put them down as two of the heavy favorites on Sunday. Oh, really? I didn't know that, and I didn't need to know that. A couple of things to expect from Gateway during the race. I expect some high aggression at this track. I'd say Gateway is not an impossible track to pass by any means. I think it's a pretty racy racetrack, but at the same time, that sounded weird. I just realized that racy racetrack. Get your love. So he's an idiot. Yeah. But this it's it's a very entertaining racetrack. They put on great racing at Gateway Worldwide Technology Raceway. I thought I was gonna wasn't gonna say that anymore. But y'all don't say that. But I'd say in three and four especially, it's really difficult to make those passes. It's a bottom lane dominant track for the most part, I'd say. The reason why I say the most part, because one and two is a very very weird corner not super banked corner but i'm not i think it changes banking throughout the corner it's a very interesting corner i'd say at points in the run the bottom lane's a lot faster and then i'd say at the end of the run the high lane really picks up i'm just always intrigued when any series goes to gateway it's just such a cool racetrack it's really different some people even like to compare it to darlington when it comes to its shape at least i would say it's shaped like darlington but nothing races like darlington but in the same way, nothing races like Gateway. I do expect some strategy throughout the race, possibly some two tire calls, fuel strategy calls, nothing different from any other events. But now that we've gone on with that, now let's get to the favorites. Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for! Of course, I already named two of the favorites, Kyle Busch and Joey Logano, two drivers that are really talented at this racetrack and also have a history at this racetrack before getting to the cup series racing there and winning there in the nationwide the bush the xfinity series and i bet kyle bush has had a lot of success there in the trucks as well a couple of other drivers to really keep an eye out for i would keep an eye out on denny hamlin oh big shocker denny hamlin's gonna compete for the win oh. but i've just seen hamlin as the most consistent driver all year long i'd say earlier on in the year it was byron but these last maybe five or six weeks 
He's really had a difficult time, has had bad luck, but at the same time, he just hasn't shown as much speed as he had earlier on in the year. So I'm going to fade William Byron, obviously, and I'm going to fade Chase Elliott as well. I don't feel like either one of them are going to do too well this weekend. I would definitely put Kyle Larson as one of the favorites. Really want some redemption after what happened last weekend when it came to the Indy 500 and the Coca-Cola 600. And another favorite I'm going to name is Brad Keselowski. Brad Keselowski has been putting it on, and I'd say as of late, he's the hottest driver in the sport. I think he has maybe four second place finishes or three second place finishes in the last five or six races, and he has that win at Darlington. He's doing fantastic right now. Same thing with his teammate Busher. But who is my pick to win the race at Gateway? Uh, this is a this is a really, really tough one. This is one of the tougher ones I've had to do because I don't because a lot of these drivers don't have a lot of experience at Gateway. There's not a lot of stats and a lot of stuff I can really go on. I really badly want to pick Kyle Bush, but it's just he shows so much inconsistency, and I don't really put that on on him. I put that more on the race team. But it's it's been a real struggle for Kyle Bush all year long. And Austin Dillon is just ugh. But I think I have to go with the hot hand. I'm going to go with Brad Keselowski. Brad K. Bad Brad. Keselowski has been the hottest driver in the sport the last couple weeks. If I had power rankings, he'd probably be number one. He's really began to figure out Ford and his race team and his next-gen car. Everything's really beginning to finally come together for Brad Keselowski and Roush Fenway Keselowski Racing. And Ford. Ford have been struggling all year for the most part. I've been harping on them, and I even made a whole video talking about Ford struggling. But they have picked it up these last couple of weeks. They've been really impressing. So I would watch out, because Brad K is coming through. And my underdog pick for the week. Underdog. I'm going to have to pick him again. I think this is maybe either... This is definitely at least the second time. Maybe the third time I'm picking this driver... But I just think he's bound to win this season. He's been so consistent. He's put on such great runs. I'd say out of drivers competing for the win on a consistent basis, it's been Denny Hamlin. But if we're just talking about top 10s and being just competitive in general, Mr. Consistent has been Alex Bowman. And Alex Bowman is my underdog pick. And I was actually even considering him as my actual pick because I just think he's bound to win. He's overdue. He's been running great all year. And with the runs he's been having, eventually he's going to find himself in victory lane. But let me know below. Who do you think is going to win at Gateway this weekend? Do you think it's going to maybe be an underdog pick? Do you think it's going to be one of the favorites that I named, like Kyle Busch or Joey Logano or Kyle Busch or Denny Hamlin or Kyle Busch? That would be great. I shouldn't. Do it. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.